Put your walking shoes on, gather up the family, and take a walk on the wild side. The destination is the Houston Zoo for their spotlight on species as we get a glimpse of the fascinating lemur species. I spoke with Helen Boostrom and she shares her knowledge about all things lemur. The Lemur SOS, um, SOS actually stands for Spotlight on Species. It's an event that is run by keepers here at the zoo, so we have several different Spotlight on Species. Basically, um, keepers, we really love the animals that we work with. That's the reason that we are involved in the zoo and have become keepers. And so a lot of us are really, really interested in conservation of these species that we work with in the wild. So we're able to run these Spotlight on Species. We choose a species, we choose a conservation organization, and basically it's a day or a weekend of events that are designed to educate people about these animals. So lots of activities for kids, coloring, um, for like the lemur SOS, we have a shafak jump since shafak leap. Um, we want kids to compare how their leap is to a shafak leap. And then we have different fundraising um, items that we sell that make money for a conservation organization that benefits that animal. So we actually have a couple species of lemurs here at the zoo. The ones we're talking about with our lemur SOS specifically are ringtail lemurs. Um, which we have a family here at the zoo and so we have four of them a mother a father and their two um, sons and then we have our cockerel shafak and we have a family of those as well a mother a father and their son so these two species are found in madagascar which is where all lemurs are found um, and the cockerel shafak is actually really really endangered their biggest problem is habitat loss um, so the forest getting cut down and that's a problem for most lemur species and so we're basically trying to raise awareness around about that, have people learn about these lemurs and care about them, and hopefully they'll be interested in helping them out in the wild. So for our ringtail lemurs, we have four of them. Like I said, they are a family. So lemur, ringtail lemurs in the wild live in big troops. It's female dominated, and that's true for our family. So Kareen, our mother, is the one that's in charge. Um, Tango, our father, is actually kind of at the lower end of the group. Even his two sons are above him. And that's just because they spend all their time with mom. They're still very, very brave and fearless. Um, Howie was last year's baby. And then Finnegan is this year's baby. And he basically is really fearless because he had Howie's example. So when he was you know, growing up this past summer, um, he spent all of his time with his older brother. And so you can see them all the time leaping through the, le or the trees and eating leaves. They're very active since we have the two young ones. And then for our Shafak, we have our Shafak exhibit. And we have three of them, a mother, a father, and a son. So the mother's um, name is Zenobia, uh, Gaius is the father, and Julius is our son. He was also born this um, past year. So he is still growing up and exploring. He just stopped, uh, started going out on his own, so he no longer clings to his mother. Um, Shafak, when they're born, clings to their mom, but now he's starting to explore. You can see him jump. Shafak can actually leap 20 feet, so he's still figuring out how to leap, so it's really interesting to watch him leap from branch to branch, and that's something that people really like to see. And they're all really um, very interesting and fun to work with. We, I could spend hours watching them on exhibit. A lot of their predators would be um, like fusa, which are carnivores that are found in Madagascar. Um, there's also different kinds of birds of prey that are, um, can predate with them. There might be competition between different species of lemurs or different groups of lemurs. So like two ringtail lemur troops um, might be competing over the same resources um, that they might eat. Um, but they're really, the biggest uh, threat they face is actually from humans. It's the forest getting cut down, um, people hunting them, things like that. So really, we are their biggest threat. <laughs> For more information about lemurs or the next Spotlight on Species, log on to www.houstonzoo.org For Animal Magnetism, I'm Derek Hall.